most people in the world, from childhood to adulthood, are concerned with the safety of their life. They're not only concerned with the privacy of their life, but they're concerned with the personal rights to be safe in the world. American society, in general, is still thankfully fairly safe. We have reasonable expectations of society and social propriety that tells us what is and isn't right. We certainly have people here who are derelict and impoverished in their mind and thinking that makes them think they have rights over other people. The truth is they don't, and they don't have a right to you, they don't have a right to me, but they walk around in arrogant ways like they're God above all and want to be omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent in ridiculous ways. What I'm talking about, of course, is our right to life, but what I'm also talking about is our right to safety. Our right to safety belongs with us, and thankfully the Second Amendment basically says we can arm ourselves, defend ourselves, and protect our lives. In a world that has gone crazy with technology, abusive with all sorts of pornography, and ridiculous with regard to human and organ trafficking, we have to be willing to accept the truth. We have the right to defend our life. Thanks to the U.S. Constitution, thanks to the amendments, we have the right to protect ourselves from struggle, from attack, and from abuse.